everybody, welcome to Yarn Scrap Friday and this week I'm going to show you how to make this three-tiered flower in three different colours, crocheted as one piece. Okay, so well, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to be using three different yarn colours and I think for this flower in the video I'm going to be using some white, yellow and orange this time. And this is a DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three. And we're going to be using a 4mm G crochet hook to go with that. Uh, it's also a good idea to have a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well. And this yarn here, I've actually got this attached to it, which is a little something I just um, designed on the hop. So I need to cut this off first because I'm not sure whether to share this one in a video sometime. So let me know if you want me to share this. But for now, we are going to make this flower. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the white first, which is going to be this, this front bit here, the smaller flower in the middle. And the first thing you want to do is to chain four. So we're going to do our little slip knot to begin and then we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so chain four. And then you want to find your first chain. There it is. And we're going to put our hook into that first chain. So it's a little bit light using white. Hopefully you can see. Put your hook into that first chain and bring the yarn through that first chain then straight through the loop on your hook and that forms a little loop joined at the beginning and the end of your four chains and in the middle is a hole don't confuse it with your chain one you just want to find that little hole and into that hole we are going to work six single crochet okay so i'm going to put my hook into that center hole bring the yarn through from the back and do a single crochet and this pattern's in US terminology so we want six of these so there's one go back into that center hole bring it through two okay. back into that center hole again three I'm just wrapping it around the chains it doesn't matter how many chains you've got now you're just wrapping it around the chains. So three, back in again, four, back in again, five, and the last one, six. Okay, so you've got six single crochet in that loop. Alternatively, you can work six single crochet into a magic circle if you like using the magic circle. I'm just going to pull that tail end just to bring that hole in a little bit. Okay, so when you've got your six single crochet, we're not going to slip stitch to join. We're just going to leave it open like that. Because what we're going to do next is we are going to work into the front loops only. Now, when you've got a normal stitch, we normally go under two bits of yarn like this when we go for a stitch, don't we? Go under two bits. But for this flower, we just want to go, if I come up, we just want to go underneath that front loop there. Okay, so you just want to go under that one bit. You don't want to go through two. So just going underneath one bit of yarn there. Because we want to leave that stitch at the back, that back loop for our next round. So go into that front loop only on the next stitch and work a single crochet to begin. We're going to start making some petals now. So a single crochet, then yarn over and go back into that same front loop again and do a double crochet. So pull through two, pull through two for a double crochet. And then we're going to do a treble crochet. And for a treble, we wrap the yarn around our hook twice. So we end up with three loops on our hook. Then we go underneath that front loop again, same front loop, bring the yarn through. So we get four loops on our hook and a double crochet, any stitch that's a double crochet or bigger, you always do the same thing. We yarn over, pull through two, first two loops, 
one, two, and come up. That leaves three loops left. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Leaves two loops. Yarn over, pull for the last two. And that does a treble crochet. We're going to need two of those, so I'm going to do that again. Wrap the yarn around our hook twice. Then go back into that same, underneath that front loop only again. Bring the yarn through. So we've got our four loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Yarn over, pull for the last two. To complete another treble. So you've got a single crochet, double crochet, and two treble crochets. Now we're just going to do a double crochet. So we go back into that same front loop, stitch again, and do a double crochet. For two, pull for two. And we're going to finish up with a single crochet. So we go underneath that front loop again, same one, and just do a single crochet. And that completes a petal, our first petal. And we need to repeat that for the rest of the stitches, but again, in the next stitch, we just need to go under that front loop only, just that front loop. We want to save that back loop for uh, the next round. So normally we go under both loops, okay? But we just want to go underneath the front loop only. Do the same thing again. We do a single crochet, a double crochet, double crochet, two trebles, wrap the yarn around your hook twice, same front loop again, then pull through two, pull through two, pull through two for a treble. Oops, and then another treble. So yarn round twice, round your hook twice, under that same front loop only. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Then a double crochet to come back down, just under that front loop double crochet and then finishing up with a single crochet and that completes our second petal and as you can see we've kept our back loops free for the next round which is a little bit hard to see in the white but hopefully when we get to working in them I can show you where they are. Okay so what you want to do now is to repeat that for the remaining four stitches just working under that front loop only so we go into the next stitch just catching that front loop and again work the same stitches single crochet, double crochet, two trebles two, second one double crochet and a single crochet. Okay, so there's our third petal. And then we've got three stitches remaining. We do the same thing again, find the next stitch and just go onto that front loop only and do the same stitches again. Single crochet, double crochet, two trebles, double crochet, single crochet. So I'm going to repeat that until I get back to the beginning, just going under those front loops only. Okay, until I've got six petals. Okay, so just going up to the last one, the last stitch is in there. Again, just going under that front loop only. Do the same stitches, single crochet, double crochet. Two trebles one and another one double crochet and a single crochet just before we finish our single crochet, I just, just about remembered then, before we yarn over and just pull through to finish that single crochet, we don't want to yarn over with the white, we want to bring in our new colour. So 
In this case, we've got a yellow. So we're going to take our yellow. And instead of yarning over with the white to finish our single crochet, we're going to yarn over with the lighter yellow. So I'm just going to put that over my hook and bring that through to finish my single crochet. I'm just going to pull the tail ends just to tighten that down. What I recommend now, just to secure that, is leaving your hook in the stitch. Just put it down. Then on the back, we're going to cut our white yarn. Trim that down. Get that out of the way. Then taking your two tail ends, hopefully you can see, take your two tail ends, we are going to just tie a couple of double knots. Like so. Then I recommend trimming down these. You might want to sew them in to be neater, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to trim them down. And I'm going to trim down this tail end as well, just so that they don't get in my way on the video. Okay, so now we're working with our yellow. And what we need to do now is to find our back loops that we skipped from the previous round. And it can be quite hard to see where the first one is. It can look like there's loads of possibilities for back loops. So what I do is actually find the last one you skipped. It's easy to find the last one you skipped. If I take my hook out, move those tail ends out of the way. It's easy to find the last one you skipped, which is there, and then count back. And we know we've got six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six is there. So but what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over so you want to do a half double crochet and put your hook into that first skipped back loop there okay which should just be in line with your first petal and another little thing to remember as well is if it seems quite tight to get into it's probably not the back loop because the back loops are quite easy to get into fairly easy so once you've found that first back loop you skipped we're going to bring our yarn through and do a half double crochet so you should have three loops, half double crochet. Okay, so pull through all three. Then yarn over again, go back into the same back loop and do another half double crochet. So we're going to do two half double crochet in each back loop around to get our stitch count up to 12. So then we find our next back loop and the back loops become a bit easier to see once you've done the first one. So there's our next one which is lining up with our petal and do two half double crochets in there. So one, yarn over, go back in there again, two. Okay. Then find the next yarn over, find the next back loop, which is there. It's quite a loose one. Do two half double crochets in there, one and another half double crochet. Pull four three. Then the next back loop, there it is, and do two half double crochet in there, one and another one in the same back loop. Then find the next back loop, there it is. do two half double crochets in there, one and another half double crochet in there, so you've got two in there. And then, how many have we done? We're up to the last one, we're up to the last one, there's our last back loop. And do two half double crochet in there, one and another one in the same back loop, two. So our stitch count now has gone up to 12. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 and 12. Okay, now then we're going to work into the front loops again, but it's, you need to be careful because if I hold this flat, you can see the proper stitches there, the little Vs, and they're facing that direction. But if you put it down slightly, you can see what looks like another V, but we don't want to work into that V. We wouldn't go through that as a stitch like that. We would go through, so not there, you need to make sure 
to hold it flat to find that proper stitch which is there okay so what we're going to do is now working with our yellow is we're going to find that first proper stitch to so make sure it's not that V you need to make sure it's that way at the front and again just work into that front loop only okay so normally you'd go through both stitches there but we just want to go through that front loop only and do the same petal again so we're going to do single crochet get back into that front loop again for a double crochet then two trebles Two, pull through two, one treble, and then another treble. Then a double crochet and a single crochet, all in that same front loop. And that creates our first yellow petal, and it should be in between those two petals, like that. Now what we want to do is find our next stitch and in the front loop only, again just going onto that front loop only and not both and making sure that you're finding it that way and not that bit there. So you need to make sure you're going for the right bit, the right front loop. Find that next front loop and do a slip stitch. So just bring the yarn through then straight through the loop on your hook for a slip stitch. Then in the next front loop we're going to do a petal, so in the next front loop we do a petal, so one single crochet, a double crochet, a treble crochet, then another treble crochet to go back down another treble, a double, double crochet, then a single crochet, all in that same front loop only, okay? Then in the next front loop, just the front loop, we do a slip stitch, and then in the next front loop we do a petal, and we continue repeating this round, doing a petal, then a slip stitch, petal, then a slip stitch back to the beginning just working into those front loops only two trebles Oops. double and single crochet okay. then in the next front loop we just do a slip stitch then in the next front loop we do a petal single crochet double crochet two trebles two trebles, one and another treble in the same front loop then a double, oops, and a single crochet to finish. Then the next front loop we do the slip stitch, and then the next front loop we do a petal, single crochet, double crochet. two trebles one and another one in the same front loop two then a double then a single crochet then the next front loop we do slip stitch and then in the next front loop we do a petal, single crochet, 
double crochet, two trebles, one and two, for two, pull for two, pull for two. It's an easy way to remember double crochets and bigger. Just pull for two to you only get one loop. And a double crochet. and then a single crochet and then in the last front loop got one less you should have one two three four five six petals again the last front loop we do a slip stitch so we go for that front loop but instead of yarning over with the yellow we are going to get our orange our final color so I'm just sort of yarning over with the yellow we're going to yarn over with our orange just hold that on my finger and bring that through the front loop through the loop on my hook now we're working with our orange I'm just going to put that down keeping the hook in there I'm going to trim the yellow always make sure I trim the right color <laughs> and then I'm going to tie these make sure you've got the hook in there so you don't lose the stitch because when you tie knots sometimes it tightens the, the loop do a little double knot there. I'm just going to trim this down. I'd probably sew these in if I was doing a knitter job and have more time. But there we go, we are now working with our orange. And now we need to find the back loops of the yellow that we skipped on the previous round. Hopefully, this time you can see it clearer because it's in yellow. And do the same thing again, count backwards because it's easy to find the last skipped back loop which is there. And we should have. 12 stitches so one two let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and it's going to be that one there okay so we're going to put our hook back in and then yarning over because we're going to do half double crochets find that first back loop which is actually because we've got stitches in between remember where we slip stitch it's going to be slightly to the right of the petal so we go underneath there that first back loop and do a half double crochet we're just going to do one half double crochet in there this time then yarn over again and find your next back loop which will be where your petal is and go under there, just that one bullet loop, and we're going to do two half double crochets in there. So one, yarn over again and go back in there again. Two. Okay, so you've got two in there. Then in the next back loop, which is in between the petals, there it is in between, we do one half double crochet. So just one half double crochet. Then the next one, which is behind the petal, there we go. We want two half double crochet, one and another one in the same back loop, two. Then in the next back loop, which is in between the petals, it's a fluff, black fluff. Sorry, perfectionist. <laughs> um, in between that next back loop, we're just going to do one half double crochet. Then in the next back loop, which is in behind the petal, we're going to do two half double crochet. One and another one in the same back loop, two half double crochet. Then in the next back loop, which is in between the petals, going to do just one half double crochet then the one behind the petal the back loop behind the petal we do two half double crochet one and another one in the same back loop oh I lost it do that again that second one one and two there we go then the back loop in between the petals, we're going to do just 
one half double crochet and then the back loop behind the petal going to do two half double crochet one and another one in the same back loop then in the next back loop in between the petals we're going to do one half double crochet by itself it's the one then moving those tail knots that's probably where you want to sew them in so you don't end up with bits of fluff like I have then in that last petal we're going to do two half double crochet in that last back loop behind that petal one and two okay you should end on a two half double crochet your stitch count should have gone up to 18 so you can just double check you've caught all your back loops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 is just hiding there. So you should have a stitch count of 18, and it should look a little something like that. And at least changing colour, it helps you find that first stitch to work into. And again, we need to make sure that we're not working into the Vs that face this way. We need to make sure we're working into the Vs that face that way. See the difference? It's like V, the point of the V is there, that's the way we want it. Not this way where the point of the V is on the left. That's the wrong one. So that's just got to make sure. And the easy way to, to make sure is just to pull it up like that and keep it flat so you can see where the top of your stitches are. And now we're just going to work into the stitches as normal. We don't need to worry about working into the front loops because this is our last round. We're going to start off straight away with a petal. So going into that first stitch, which you can see because it's orange, going into under both loops as normal, we do a petal. So same again, single crochet, double crochet, two trebles, one, tre one treble, and then second treble. Then a double crochet and a single crochet. Just the same as before. Okay, and that should be in between your yellow. Then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch. So just a little slip stitch in the next stitch. And then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next stitch as well. So we're going to slip stitching the next two stitches in between and then in the next stitch we do a petal so single crochet double crochet two trebles one and two Oops, and a double crochet. Let's come back down, bring your petal back down, all in the same stitch, then a single crochet. All worked into the same stitch. Then we're going to do a slip stitch in the next two. So slip stitch in the next stitch, slip stitch in the next stitch, okay, slip stitch in the next two, and then the next stitch we do a petal. So just repeat that all the way back to the beginning doing a slip stitch in the next two petal, slip stitch in the next two petal, slip stitch in the next two petal and you should end up with a slip stitching in the last two to finish. Okay, but I'll come back when I get near the end. So just carry on doing your petals and slip stitching into the next two in between. Okay, okay so just coming up to the last three stitches, so do my last petal, single crochet, double crochet, two trebles, one, and the second one, two, and 
double crochet let's come back down all in the same stitch and a single crochet to finish then in the last two stitches we do some slip stitches slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch in the last stitch okay and then cut our yarn and then just pull tail end up and then I'm going to get my yarn needle and just neaten off this just going to thread it to the back turn it over my little other tail ends have disappeared a bit because I've been working the last round just going to thread it through some stitches back in the opposite direction and then trim off the excess job done and there we go there is our finished three tiered flower so the only thing you really got to master if you're not used to the treble that might be new but it's to working into the front and back loops but like I said it helps to find where your last skip back loop is and count backwards on your stitch count to try and find the first one but there we go there is our finished three tiered flower and uh, you can go with this one so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you can find some fun uses for your flowers and I will see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching guys and thanks for all your support as well it means a lot to me thanks guys bye